Hey guys, Crispy here. Welcome to my channel. I am so, so excited for today's tutorial. This look is one of the looks that I created for Maybelline to go in stores in the month of October. Just insane. Like I never would have dreamed that I would be on a Maybelline display. Like, oh. We teamed up to bring you guys a really easy, affordable look that you can create with makeup that you can use year round, not just for Halloween. So if you see me in Walgreens, CVS, whatever drugstores, take a pic, snap me. I'm so, so excited. You can use MNY Halloween, Maybelline New York Halloween hashtag. They're gonna be looking through the hashtag. I'm gonna be looking through that hashtag. And as always, you can also hashtag me crispy because I love looking through there and seeing your guys' looks. Before we jump into the tutorial, I wanted to remind you guys to make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're not already and turn on post notifications so that you don't miss when I upload a new video. All right, I'm kind of like all over the place. I think that's all I have to say for now. So let's get started. So we're starting off with the Soda Pop palette. I already have everything else done. We're going to go right into the eyes using this Great Pop eyeshadow. I'm taking a blending brush and I'm putting that right into the crease and I'm concentrating most of the color right at the crease and then just diffusing it upwards using a really light touch where I want it to just taper off. Next I'm taking this eyeshadow called Tonic in a flat brush and I'm just going to pack this right onto the lid. Now we're going to start shading the face for the skull look. I'm taking the same Great Pop eyeshadow and I'm taking a flat brush and I'm just kind of swirling it into the skin right there. I did the same thing on the nose and kind of just dragged it upwards. And you guys are gonna see we're gonna shade one step at a time with each eyeshadow color. Don't worry about the nose being precise. This is kind of like a messy, smoky look. And then I'm starting on the cheekbone. And if you notice, I'm holding that brush flat to my face and that's gonna really help it blend. Um, it's gonna help create a sharp line towards the top and then I just pull it down and buff it so that it's nice and smooth. Next I'm taking the color cherry on top. This is a really pretty matte purpley color and we're basically going to just go over everything we just did. First I'm going to start by deepening the crease and just blending it upwards. Then I'm going to add it to the temples and then also to the cheekbones and I'm really concentrating that color towards the top of the line that I created. I don't want to completely cover the purple. I want to make sure that there's breathing room between the shades, if you know what I mean, so that we have a lot of depth. And for the nose, I switched to a flat brush and I'm just adding that color right on top. I wanted something a little bit more precise for the two lines. I'm dragging them up the bridge of the nose and I'm keeping them uneven. Next, we're taking the eyeshadow Root Beer and we're just going to do the same exact step, just repeat step two, I guess. Um, we're just adding this to the areas that we already shaded and this is going to add that extra level of dimension and depth and make your skull look super official. Um, so I'm using a flat brush here and I'm just using a really light touch, dragging it across the cheek and also buffing it in and make, making sure to hold that brush flat to the skin. And for the nose, I'm basically shading at the very bottom by rotating that brush on the skin and I'm using the edge to kind of create a hard line right there and then I also just blended it upwards. For the waterline, we're going to be applying the Lasting Drama Matte Eyeliner in Jet Black. So I'm putting it in the waterline and also smudging it down into the lash line and I really love this liner because it's super, super black. Next, we're going to be using the Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner in black to create a wing. Fear not, I got your back, I'm going to walk you through it. Basically line the lash line and then you're going to want to start inching it out at the wing, kind of feeling that out, doing it little by little. And you're going to release pressure at the very end of the wing and then you're just going to pull it back to create a triangle and fill it in. And then I'm taking Cherry on Top eyeshadow again in a flat brush and I am using it to smoke out the lower lash line. After I did my lashes, I started to apply Cherry on Top eyeshadow with a small shader brush and I just started blending it down. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. I even went back in with a fluffy brush and made that line wider at the top and really just blended it out. And then I also took Root Beer eyeshadow and added it towards the top to give it even more depth. 
Okay, so the last step is to finish up the lips. I took a nude lipstick and then I actually used the eyeshadow palette to shade the lips. So I lined them first and then I started doing some lines over the lipstick and extending up over the lips, kind of going on to the face and I kept everything really soft. And then we also are gonna follow the same steps that we did before, kind of going with the darker eyeshadows to make everything more smoky. All right, you guys, so that was a whole video. I hope you enjoyed this look. Don't forget to tag me if you see me in the drugstores. I'm gonna be like, oh my God, we made it. Yeah, tag me in your looks. Tag MNY Halloween as well. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.